Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In this video, we'll be dividing decimal numbers by decimal numbers using the long division method. But before we do that, just a quick reminder, all around the world we use two different decimal separators, we use a comma and we use a point. And because I was born and raised in South Africa, I use a decimal comma. That doesn't change any steps, any rules or anything else except for the fact that I use a comma where you may use a point. So now let's get started. So just a quick recap of the terminology. The number we're dividing is called the dividend. The number we will be dividing with is called the divisor and the answer is called the quotient. So let's look at this example. So let's start by setting up this problem. First we have our long division bar and then our dividend goes inside the bar and our divisor in front of the bar. But when we divide a decimal number by a decimal number, there's just one extra step you're going to take. We don't want to divide by a decimal number. We don't care if the dividend is a decimal number, that's okay. But we want the divisor to be a whole number. So I'm gonna times with 10. So I'm gonna move the comma one time to the right. But I can't just do that to the divisor. I also need to do the same with the dividend. So inside the long division bar, I'm also going to multiply with 10. So basically, I'm going to move that comma also one time to the right. And now I'm just going to write this nice and neatly. So now I have 85,2 divided by 4. And now we're dividing by a whole number. And that is perfect. That is what we want. So before we start with our four steps for normal long division, we are still dividing a decimal number by a whole number. So we still have those two extra steps. The first thing, we can now go and write the comma in the answer because the comma in the answer is going to be exactly above the comma in the dividend. And now that we have our comma in the answer, we can go ahead and ignore the comma in the dividend. So now you're going to continue like normal long division. So let's recap our four steps. The first steps, you're going to ask yourself how many times. The second step, you're going to multiply. The third step, you're going to subtract. And the fourth step, you're going to bring down. And remember, when we're busy with long division, we work from left to right. And our answer, our quotient, goes on top of the long division bracket. Okay, so I'm going to take away the answer and we'll do this problem together. So the first step is how many times. So how many times does 4 go into 8? And 4 can go into 8 2 times. The next step is multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. The next step is subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. And the next step, you bring the next digit down. And then you start with those 4 steps over again. So how many times does 4 now go into 5? 1 time. Now we multiply. 1 times 4 is 4. We subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1 and we bring the next digit down. Remember we ignore the comma, we bring the next digit down. And then we start with our steps again. So how many times does 4 go into 12? 3 times. Then we multiply. 3 times 4 is 12. We subtract. 12 minus 12 is 0. We bring down. There's no digit left to bring down and we end it with a zero. So this is the end of our long division. So we have our final answer. Our answer is 21,3. And remember, 
when we are dividing a decimal number, we cannot end with anything else than a zero. We cannot write down a remainder. We need to continue with the long division until we end with a zero. If you're not sure how to do that, make sure you watch all the examples. So now let's look at the second example. So here we have 3,425 divided by 2,5. So let's set up this problem. So first we have our long division bar, our dividend inside of the bar, and our divisor in front of the bar. And now remember, we never want to divide by decimal. So we need to make that a whole number first. So we times with 10. So we move the comma one time to the right. And now we do exactly the same for the dividend inside of the bar. So we moved our comma one time to the right. We times with 10. And now we just write this properly. And because we are now dividing by a whole number, we can just write our comma in the answer above the comma in the dividend. And before we start with our four steps, we can just ignore the comma in the dividend. So let's get started. So our first step, how many times can 25 go into 3? You cannot take 25 out of 3, so I'm just going to write a 0. And then I'm going to include the 4. So how many times can 25 now go into 34? 25 can go once into 34. And now we multiply 1 times 25 is 25. We subtract 34 minus 25 is 9. And now we bring the next digit down. Remember, you ignore the comma and you bring down the next digit. And now our four steps can start again. So now we ask how many times can 25 go into 92? 25 can go three times into 92. And then we multiply three times 25 is 75. We subtract 92 minus 75 is 17. And now we bring the next digit down. So the five we bring down. And now we start again with our steps. So how many times can 25 go into 175? And 25 can go seven times into 175. And now we multiply seven times 25 is 175. We subtract 175 minus 175 is zero. And now we need to bring the next digit down. There's not a next digit and we end it exactly in a zero again. So our answer for 3,425 divided by 2,5 is 1,37. And now let's have an example for when we don't exactly end with a zero. So for the last example, we have 2,94 divided by 1,2. So let's set up this problem. So we have our long division bar, our dividend inside of the bar, and our divisor in front of the bar. And now remember, we don't want to divide by a decimal, so we need to make the decimal a whole number. So we're going to move the comma one time to the right. And we also need to do that to the dividend. So we move the comma one time to the right. And now we just write it down properly. So we have 29,4 divided by 12. And before we start with our four steps, we are now dividing by a whole number. So we know we can go and write the comma in the answer, which is going to be exactly above the comma in the dividend. And we can ignore the comma. And now we can start with our four steps. How many times can 12 go into 2? 12 cannot go into 2. I'm just writing a 0. And now I include the next digit. How many times can 12 go into 29? 12 can go two times into 29. Now we multiply two times 12 is 24. We subtract 29 minus 24 is five. And we bring the next digit down. Remember we are ignoring the comma and bringing only the next digit down. And now we can start again with our steps. So how many times does 12 
go into 54. 12 can go four times into 54. We multiply four times 12 is 48. And now we subtract 54 minus 48 is six. And now we bring down the next digit, but we don't have another digit to bring down. And we didn't end exactly with a zero. And like I said, when we're dividing a decimal number, we want to end in a zero. We are not going to write it down as remainders. So how we can continue is we extend the long division bracket and we add an extra zero. We can add that extra zero because by adding a zero at the end of a decimal number, we are not adding or taking away any value of the decimal number. 29,4 and 29,40 is exactly the same. That is why you can add the zero and now you can continue. Now you have something to bring down. So we bring down that zero and we can start with our steps again. So how many times can 12 go into 60? 12 can go five times into 60. Now we multiply five times 12 is 60. We subtract 60 minus 60 is zero. And now for the last step is bring down. There's no digit left to bring down. We end it with a zero like we want to. So we have our final answer. Our final answer is 2,45. And just like in all the other videos, you can find a worksheet with a memo in the description box below. You can just click on the link and go and download the worksheet and memo. There's a worksheet for if you work with a decimal comma and a worksheet for if you work with a decimal point. So just make sure you download the correct worksheet. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and then I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.